So in this episode we are about to sign some players, sign some fullbacks because we need to revolutionize our team and hopefully they'll end up doing that. So we are back with another episode of this FIFA 23 West Ham career mode on the channel and currently as you can see we are sitting first in the league but there is only two matches gone so not to get too delusional. So this is the team that we have and our, our team is good but we have a problem with our fullbacks because Emerson who is 77 rated I don't think that he's good enough to be first choice at a Premier League club and then Sufal is only having 70 pace which is too slow for a fullback. Don't get me wrong, he's very very good as a fullback in real life. But in FIFA, we just saw in the last episode he was skinned by Adamo Traore. And now, before we sign our fullbacks, we gotta generate some cash. So we're gonna sell Aaron Creswell. And we're gonna get more than 9 million for him. And this is the shortlist that we have for the players that we want to buy. We need a center back. But more importantly, we need some fullbacks. And now the main priority for me are Spinozola from Roma and Ricardo Pereira. And we have 94 million in the budget so I don't think that signing them should be a problem. Rafael Guerrero is also too slow so that's why he's out of the equation. So let's start off with the more important signing. The left back Spinozola from Roma is going to be signing for West Ham hopefully. He is 27 million in value and now let's just negotiate the contract with him we're gonna offer him 69,000 with a clean sheet bonus and there he is he accepts it and we had to pay about 30 million for him and now he's signed to West Ham our new number six wait I think that's Mark Noble's number who is retired so I think West Ham have retired this number I may be wrong you guys let me know in the comments but for this episode he'll get that number because I do not have the information required to take that number away from him and here it is our new fullback is here and the first of the two we are also signing a right back it's gonna be Ricardo Pereira from Leicester City so now Leicester City are not having the best of seasons and that is why we are about to sign him. We are negotiating with Benjamin Rogers, and he also accepts our offer. Now it's time for the contract negotiations with our right back and we are offering him a nice signing bonus of 200k and he accepts that. So we have the two signings in our season. I've got to say this West Ham kit looks good on these players. The fans are getting ready to witness some greatness potentially. We also had to pay about 30 million for him and it's gonna be an A rated transfer. Wow that's nice. I never failed in anything let alone transfers in a video game. Well I did fail uh, in chemistry in ninth grade but we don't talk about that and now we have a transfer offer for Sufal from Man United the thing is I do not want to sell him but I'll tell him if they agree with 20 million because that would be a nice offer but they are not willing to do that so I'm gonna be rejecting it and there it is our player is leaving Creswell A nice servant to the club but we're getting an additional 9 million for him and I would take that he's 32 years old I would take the money and now we are about to face Nottingham Forest we are currently second in the league now because Liverpool have played an additional game and they've won that game but now we'll hopefully win this match and get back on top And so this is our lineup for this match and Emerson currently starts with Johnson because I do not want to force our new players before they settle in and apart from that it's our regular starting 11 against Nottingham Forest and let's play the highlights. The match has begun and let's try to win this one. Here's Kamaka! Goal number one for West Ham United. They take the lead and... 
They are playing so good to start the opening of the season. Who knows how good they can get. <coughs> and now the boss played through for Johnson. And that's brilliantly defended. The West Ham and that's going to be it. A 1-0 win for West Ham United against Nottingham Forest. And they pick up other 3 points. With a 1-0 win. And so, because we have made our transfers, I'm going to be simulating the rest of the deadline day. Because we do not need to make any more transfers or sell any players. And so, the last time that you saw Morley, he was a 63 rated center mid from our youth academy and now he's 69 rated, wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And he's only 15 years old! Amazing! Like, he's not even a homegrown talent or something. That's great to see. And now, I think we should train his shooting. And we are gonna do that, that also improves his weak foot. A perfect development plan but that's a huge jump to go from 63 rated to 69 rated <coughs> so the future looks bright and the present also looks bright because we are currently first in the league our next match is against Aston Villa and this time I am gonna be giving my new signings their debuts so Ricardo Pereira starts and we'll bring on Spinozola in the second half to see what he's all about. And they also have a very nice team. They have signed Roberto Firmino. Okay. What a signing that is. And they also have Emmy Martinez in goal. The best goalkeeper in the World Cup. And a master at saving penalties. So West Ham versus Aston Villa. And the match has begun. Hopefully we can get another win. And now here's Douglas Louise passes it on. Brilliant football. Here's Danny Yings. What a save from Ariola. Here's Ricardo Pereira getting his first few touches as a West Ham player. And he should play it inside. He doesn't. He took too long. Here's Coutinho. Roberto Firmino. Douglas Louise. Douglas Louise. What a strike. Oh, that's beautiful a hit right there from Douglas Louise. He's a defensive mid, but there was no defending in that shot. What a strike that is. Oh, that's brilliant. That's a fantastic strike. And now the boss played through, but that's cleared away. Kurt Zuma. Now Ricardo Pereira chips it in. Gianluca Scamacca turns and that's really defended by Mings. Here's Emerson. Has a lot of space. Cornet. And now it's on to Scamacca. Scamacca shoots and it hits the post. So unlucky. Here's Declan Rice. Shoots and that's blocked well. And now Aston Villa coming forward once again. They have not had much possession, but when they have had it, they are creating so many chances. That's Una Emery ball, I guess. Here's Kamaka. On to Ricardo Pereira, who goes for the shot. Didn't see any other option, but that's blocked as well. And so we are making some substitutions. Mikel Antonio comes on for Jared Bowen because Jared Bowen has been in invisible and. We also bring on Spinozola. Roberto Firmino. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant football. But that's going to be offside. What a play that was from Aston Villa. Cornet. Chips it through for Spinozola. Spinozola looks for options. Cornet. Into the middle. But that's well intercepted by Douglas Luiz. Declan Rice. And now West Ham. Have some space to work with. Spinozola gets in the box. Cornet shoots, but it's get blocked once again. 
Grone once again. Spinozola. Can they do it this time? No, they cannot. That's well defended. And Villa are defending like dogs. Here's Miguel Antonio. Displaying his strength. And what a powerful shot that was. But that's still going to be a nil for West Ham. That's a nice save. And the ball is delivered in. But that's won by West Ham. Antonio. Skamaka. Skamaka gets smacked. And that's going to be a free kick. For West Ham. <coughs> so what can they do with this opportunity? Lanzini. Who scored a screamer last time around. On the volley. Can he score this time? Lanzini that hits the ball. And it's going to be collected by the keeper. Rice. Lanzini. Suchek from outside the box. This time it didn't work. And that's going to be it. It's going to be a 1-0 loss for West Ham United against Aston Villa. Away from home. And the first loss for the Hammers. They had the better performance than shots, but it wasn't to be. A 1 0 loss, they played very well, but Villa were just a bit better. And okay, we are in the Conference League, I did not know that. So, should we prioritize it? I think we should. Because I am a winning manager and I like to win everything, even though that, even if it's the Papa Jones trophy. But now it's a European game for West Ham. And it's against FCSB. I do not even know where they're from. But all I know is that we have to beat them. And we are once again going with our strongest team. For this match. And hopefully they'll be able to get us the win in the conference league. Because they should. And it's at our stadium as well. Oh, they're playing some nice football right here. And our defense is nowhere to be found. But thankfully, they didn't end up scoring. Suchek sees the run of Ricardo Pereira, but it wasn't to be. That was well defended. But West Ham still have the ball. Suchek. And now here's Lucas Paqueta. That's just over the bar. A nice chance. Spinozola. Corne. Jared Bowen. But he couldn't beat the defender. No, West Ham. Playing some nice football. And now it's chipped through for Corne. Spinozola. Corne once again. And that's going to be a goal. Lucas Paqueta. He is in such fine form. Scores another goal. He has been their best player so far. And he scores again. The fans are loving it. Oh what is that touch. Now our defense is nowhere to be found. But Ricardo Pereira is fast enough. That's why we signed him. Sufal so couldn't have never done that. Lucas Paqueta. Tries to chip it through and it falls for Bowen and it somehow end, ends up in the back of the net. Jared Bowen his first goal this season and that's not a very nice goal to concede for the opposition but I'm going to take that and now I'm going to make some substitutions. Skamaka, Lanzini, Johnson and Emerson and Tilo Keher come on. To finish off the game. But. We have to stay focused. Defensively. I've got to say. This team. From the conference league. Has been playing very well. And what a pass that is. Oh my goodness me. They just. Tiki taka on us. What a goal. I mean. The passing play was insane. Oh. Oh. That is a very nice goal. But unfortunately we didn't score that. Here's Emerson. 
Declan Rice, Lanzini, Lanzini, and then falls for Bowen once again, but this time he was on his right foot, couldn't score. Ricardo Pereira, Jared Bowen, Pereira, Skamaka is waiting, it falls for Corne, and he attempts the bicycle kick, but that's cleared away, and that's gonna be it. A 2-1 win for West Ham to start off their European campaign this season. <laughs> and we were the better team, but they were also very, very good. Especially the goal they scored. That was a fantastic goal. And now we are back with some Premier League action against Brentford. This is the lineup that we are going for. Spinozola is our left back but Ricardo Pereira gets some rest and I'm gonna be playing the highlights for this one and now Corne is through and he's fast enough as well Corne has to score and whoa he's not fast enough what was that I mean he has 87 pace and that didn't show there now here's Kamaka took too long he should have gone with a header Another chance for Bowen, but he's also too slow. This team is too slow. Skamaka! He couldn't score! He's not good enough. No way. Ivan Tony has a penalty to score. He never misses, but Ariola saves this one. He has saved every penalty that we have faced. And it ends up in a nil-nil draw. Considering that they got a penalty, I'll take that result. And to be honest. We are getting a bit of a reality check in this episode because we have not been good enough. The early season might have just been a fluke, but that's not the mentality of winners. So let's go back and win another match, this time in the EFL Cup against Newport County. And I'm going to be giving Fabianski a chance in this one. Please don't disappoint me and there we go. Lanzini and Kone score to get us a 2-0 win in the EFL Cup and as I said no competition is average for me or I can not neglect any competition that's not how I think and currently we are 7th in the league kind of realistic because this is where the West Ham squad should be but unfortunately they're 17th in the league 